Hi everybody, Big Paulie here uh, for another video uh, and this is my Q&A video so I'm going to go over all the, uh, the questions that have been asked in the last couple of weeks. I've had quite a big response on the, uh, the competition for the five still books. It's about 50, 50 uh, questions and um, so I shall be drawing that in a couple of days. I'm just waiting for my drawing apparatus <laughs> to be delivered by Amazon which should be here for the weekend so it's uh, it's going to be a little bit better than picking sodding bits of paper out of a hat but um, yeah I'll, I'll go through it at the weekend anyway so let's begin shall we let's start the Q&A I'm going to answer the questions by my trusty old iPad so let's go through them okay the first one comes from Ben Ashby hello Ben uh, as someone who has only recently got into still book collecting in your opinion which release company do the nicest releases in terms of artwork and design uh, for me personally blue fans I don't own a lot of the Nova medias or the um, uh, the film arenas or anything like that some of the other releases but blue fans yes for me uh, next question comes from Ted Watts 821 hello um, what film or TV show that has no still book deserves one that has got to be the abyss I'm sorry don't care what else there is out there the abyss uh, next one comes from Adam Siroy. I think I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> the question is, have you ever ordered a still book from a different region than the one that you live in just because of how it looks? Yes. Again. Blue fans. Guardians of the Galaxy. Didn't like the cassette tape still book, so I went for the beautiful glossy coloured blue fans release. Next one comes from David S. Hello. What was your first steel book? <sighs> Shite. Now that is going back. Oh, crikey. Um, it's probably going to be Sweeney Todd. I'm pretty sure it's probably Sweeney Todd. And this is in the days when Blockbuster was still going. So, yeah, you're going back a little bit. But there you go. Uh, next one is from Derek Johns. Hello. What still book were you most disappointed by? If anybody who's been watching my videos for the last couple of weeks knows the answer. Rogue One. Zavi. <laughs> next one's from Movie DVD Maniac. What's your least favourite still book and why? <sighs> least favorite still book I wouldn't say so far as being least favorite um, I would say the British Despicable Me 2 because if you're not going to continue to do Despicable Me or Despicable Me 3 in, st 3 in still book why do we only have to have one release it's the same with How to Train Your Dragon the Xavi release where, how to Train Your Dragon 2? Nah, no still book. But that's just my opinion. Uh, next one is from AR Havoc. What movie uh, you hope finally gets a still book release? The Abyss. Please, Gems Cameron, get your arse in gear and get us The Abyss. And next question comes from Simeon's Reviews. Apologies if I get the pronunciation wrong. Uh, this is a three part question. So we've got Wolverine versus Deadpool. Who would win? I think Wolverine, because you can slash the shit out of Deadpool, and Deadpool would just come back with a couple of 
witty one-liners. <laughs> uh, part second part of the question: What's your favourite quote from a movie? I love you. I know. Empire Strikes Back. Third part of the question: If you could be any character in any movie, who would it be and why? I would have to say the Terminator because I would like to shoot the shit out of those inconsiderate assholes that stand in front of me in Tesco's and Sainsbury's when I'm trying to shoot a video yap in a way so yeah anybody in front of me you're dead get out the way of the blu-rays you bastards <laughs> So yeah, that's the third part of the question. Next question is from Behost011. Hello, Brian. Uh, what movie that isn't already on Blu-ray would you most want to see? The Abyss. <laughs> this is going to be a The Abyss questions. <laughs> Uh, next, um, which this is still from him. This is still from B. Host. Um, which still book do you feel is the most unnecessary and why not worth a still book? Um, Priest. I mean, the film was, but I mean, what's the point of having a still book? Probably, I'm not, I've only ever seen it once, I probably ain't gonna watch it again. Uh, next part of the question is how many retailers have you negotiated rights to hold group buys which one was the easiest to get uh, and so on and what are the main concern a retailer might have in regards to you wanting to hold group buys for their releases well they know why I hold group buys I to, basically to hold them for people overseas that can't buy the HMVs because they know that they don't ship internationally um, I've got HMV and Zoom. Um, although Zoom hasn't released any still books this year at all, they've gone like dead. Like, uh, like Entertainment Store did. I had a great relationship with Entertainment Store, but God knows what happened to that. And um, yeah, Zoom's gone really quiet as well. They came out with a load of good releases, didn't they? With the starting with the you know the Star Trek Beyond, the Lenticular one, um, and the Dracula and the Mummy and. And it's just gone all quiet and they're just selling everybody else's steel books so whether or not it cost them too much I don't know uh, next question is for Nistel SE um, this is quite a long one so some blu-ray releases claim full or 4k resta restoration but for example heat the new 4k blu-ray the picture has a better picture but the white specs were not cleaned up Sometimes stains and scratches are still apparent. It's very misleading when they claim full restoration, but they don't even clean up artifacts and dirt. Uh, exactly. I agree completely. If you're going to do a restoration, clean the shit up. Uh, next one is from Something Clever. Uh, which still book art do you feel is the most underrated? I would say uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane. It's a very simple artwork, but it grabs you, it pulls you in, uh, both on the front and the back with the, the mixture of the colours, the reds and the blues and that. But yeah, I love that. I love that artwork. It's very basic, no debossing, no embossing, no gloss, no shit like that, but it's really good. Uh, and the next one is from Thomas Peer. He's asked, is there a limit to how many questions you can ask? Nah, not really. You can ask anything you want, mate. So, here we go. So, my friends and family disagree with me spending twice as much on a still book because I think they look better. My question is to you, do you prefer still books rather than normal Blu-rays or vice versa? Yes, always. Still books come in top for me. Although I have kind of like dipped it down a little bit. And not just buying any old shit these days. Um, next part of the question is: Do you buy a steelbook even if you don't like the film? 
I used to. I used to buy every steel book that came out, whether or not I'm ever going to watch the movie. Uh, but not now. So I'm a little bit more in tune with the releases. And I'm, I mean, I do like the, the Disney Red Sleeve 3D releases. So as you saw a couple of weeks ago in one of the videos, I opted to buy some of them instead of uh, the Doctor Strange one, basically. I sold my Doctor Strange steelbook and I kept the red one because uh, I preferred the cover. Although I will be upgrading to the blue fans Doctor Strange, so <laughs> it's a never ending circle, isn't it? Um, next part of the question is Do you prefer steelbooks or big sleeve edition? At the moment, steelbooks, but we'll see how big sleeve goes. It's still very early days, so there's probably a ton of releases that they can come out with. Uh, do you make lenticular magnets that aren't available on your website? Not really. I mean, I have tried to do a, f a few custom orders, um, but it's getting the time really because I've got you know fitting in with the group buys, uh, the videos, all the other daily life and all the other stuff that you get up to it's just finding the time to actually sit down and do a custom design so I don't know maybe later on I might be able to have more time I hope that answers your question uh, the next one is from Ernesto Nunez or Nune um, and this one question is why do you think that the UK or Zavi for that matter are doing still books without any titles on the cover at first they were nice with the titles and then embossed, but now they're just nice. Not even the title on the spine on some of the previous releases. Uh, and also some titles in the US have the titles. So for example, the Best Buy Moana has a title on the front, but the Savvy one doesn't. Um, basically it does, um, I do agree with Escals actually. Um, it, particularly in Europe it comes down to um the international release the mass the mass release uh, whereas it came with disney what they can do um if they just put pictures down the spine and they have no title on the cover then they can produce that one steelbook for every european community and it's a lot cheaper and then all they have to do is print the cardboard backing sheets cheap way of doing it you know it's a bit of a con but that was the way that they got around it until people started having a fuss and kicking up a stink uh, me and me including about the spines because I didn't I don't like the picture spines you know the Avengers and 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 the Disney ones they look shit I mean if you're gonna have a, a spine title make sure it's a fucking spine title you bastards <laughs> anyway this is a bit of a QA and a rant as well. So I hope, you, I hope that answers the question. Uh, the next one is from Steve Chiani. I think I got your name pronounced correctly, is it? Ciani? Chiani? Anyway, Steve to me. Uh, question is, where did you acquire that shirt? This shirt and the black and white and the brown and white would you believe eBay uh, now here's the thing probably about 12 years ago <laughs> and it was five pound for three shirts I know I'm a cheap bastard and I but when you've got blu-rays and steel books to buy you can't afford to buy clothes uh, and also the second part of his question is can you explain the origin of your online online nickname cuds and drips now I've never been asked asked that before, so yeah, it's easy. I'm going to do it. Years and years ago, five or six years ago, uh, we had a cat called Mowgli, big old black thing. He was lovely, um, and he used to jump up on me. And as he would jump up on my chest up here, as you were stroking him, he'd be purring away and he'd be dribbling all down my shirt so he was getting cuddles and he was dripping cuds and drips <laughs> simple as that and it stuck and so did his fucking drips <laughs> uh, 
uh, next one is from Miguel Diaz, uh, the digital code winner from yesterday. Well done. Hope you got your codes all right. Uh, the question is, if you could be any superhero, who would you be and why? Superman. I've always wanted to be able to fly over these houses where I live and just up the way. If you had one superpower, what would it be and why? Now, the easiest thing to say would be um, heat vision or x-ray vision. But I think if I had one superpower, mind control. <laughs> wow, well, that would come in handy, wouldn't it? Because you could influence quite a lot with mind control. I'm fucking hell. I'd find Disney headquarters and go up there and find their design team. Don't design that. It's fucking shit. Put a title on the spine. Put embossing. Put gloss. You bastards. Brilliant. Uh, next question is from Gino91787. What do you think of the Logan... Uh, still book artwork. Initially, I didn't like it, but knowing it's by Steve McNinnan, sorry, Steve McNiven, uh, the old man Logan artist, he's put a bit of a more positive spin. I love it. A lot of people have thought oh, it's too com too comic booky, but no, I love it. I bloody love it. So um, I'm really looking forward to that, actually having that. Uh, and the next one is from. Uh, Roy Dio Dio Sorry, mate. Roy Rio de Rio. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, only one question. Which still book do you want the most, but can't find a copy of? HMV The Accountant. Bloody hell, did they sell out quick. I had to bleed. I Three copies of that got damaged in the, in the, uh, the group by still book delivery. And I searched for bloody weeks to try and find more copies in... I must have called up probably about 20 or 30 HMV stores to get them to ship them to me, but no bastard had any. And then they were changing hands on eBay for like 30, 40 quid, but unfortunately I had to, like, you know, either refund or offer replacement still books for... I mean, I don't have that many damaged still books. HMV do package them really good, so it was just an unfortunate incident. Probably one of the first damaged uh, deliveries I've had probably in four years, so that's pretty good. But yeah, I'm sorry to those that didn't get it, but that's the one. If if that came back into stock, I'd buy up a couple of those. Uh, next question is from Robert Beckett. And uh, da, 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 da. how many steel books do you have in your collection? I've done a rough count. Um, it roughly counts out at around about 470. So anywhere between 470 and 500, I think. And that includes the blue fans as well. Uh, next one is from Support Fruit Bootin. If you had to choose 10 films that either don't have a still book release or don't have one that you particularly like to have one released, what would they be? Oh, I don't know if I can do 10. Um, Rain Man. I don't think there's a Rain Man. The Rocky series. Christ, they need still books. Um, a wider release for Titanic because there's a, I think there's only one version, which is I think is the German version. I've got it. Um, in my collection but I'm surprised Zavi hasn't decided to put one out you know or HMV um, Schindler's List I don't believe there's one for uh, and the top two True Lies and The Abyss and it's not ten but I hope that helps uh, next one is from Dan Collins what still books are you looking forward to most in 2017 Films we've got in 2017, uh, Alien Covenant. Um, that's I think that's going to be a good one. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume Two, Blue Fans. Yeah. Uh, next question is from Alistair Stewart. 
Which still books do you own that you're not a fan of the movie, but you bought to complete a collection? Well, the, I would say the only ones that I had to buy to complete the collection. I am a fan of the films, though. That's the problem. But I would say the Mission Impossible Zavi series, uh, because the first three were like, what were they? Blue, red, and yellow, some shit like that. Um, and then the spines and everything and the design completely changed for the rest of the film so I've got to continue because you know you've got to hopefully have the the whole collection even though <laughs> bastards don't match okay next one comes from uh, Kobe Evans what are your top three favorite still book designs uh, number one is blue fans guardians of the galaxy definitely if you've seen that that is bloody gorgeous embossing gloss oh, it's just fantastic have a look back to the future Zavi uh, trilogy the art beautiful artwork on that comic book artwork yeah absolutely love it and the third one probably finding Dory blue fans Zavi's just a bit boring uh, next question comes from Brandon uh, Brandon M which film do you own the most releases of how many do you own of that particular film and what's your reason for owning them and and whose depiction of a superhero is your absolute favorite well, I, superheroes, when it comes to superheroes, it's going to be Superman, so... What's the most releases you own? It's going to be... Up until recently, it's probably The Force Awakens, because there was the standard Blu-ray. Then came out the 3D Blu-ray. Uh, and I've got two still books. Um, I think it's the Best Buy still book and the Zavi still book uh, and also the blue fans one that's just been announced so that's probably the most what's your reason for owning them because I want to get a better version and a better version and a better version until I've got my, the ultimate version but I don't think we'll ever have an ultimate version of any bloody still book uh, next question is from uh, Duke Goodman what is your favourite premium still book company and why? BF, Blue Fans, definitely Blue Fans. As I say, I don't own many of the other premium companies, but as soon as I started buying the Blue Fans co uh, still books, oh, they just did it for me. It's the combination of the lenticulars, which are the best lenticulars in the world. Um, I think, uh, plus the booklets, the gloss, the embossing, the whole package is just, it's just perfect, absolutely spot on. Uh, and the next one comes from Brent Fleming. And uh, question is, what do you believe is the best kids or Disney animation film of all time? That is a tough question because there are so many animated films. I would say in the last, not counting like the Disney classics that go back 30, 40, 50 years, but the one that people identify the most and watch the most, I think is Toy Story. Probably not necessarily Toy Story 2 or 3, but the first one. That is, in my opinion, that is a classic Disney Pixar film. Um, and that is my favourite Disney Pixar film of all time. So, yeah, I'd go with Toy Story. So, uh, next question uh, for Neverender. Yeah, how many steel books do you own? So, bet 470 to 500. Next question comes from also Carlos Peralta. Uh, how many Blu rays in my collection? So, not necessarily steel books. I don't own a huge amount of Blu-rays because I preferred steelbooks. So all my Blu-rays I had, I sold or traded to get the steelbooks. 
um, although I've started to get Blu-rays coming back in, in back in the collection now. So what with um, Blue Fan, I mean they're still, they're still books, aren't they? So the Poundlands uh, and the remaining Blu-rays that I've kept, plus also my red red Disney ones, I would say amongst the Blu-rays themselves, probably not more than a hundred. It's a small amount, isn't it? Uh, next question comes from Smudger1279. The question is, uh, what's the most expensive edition of any movie that you've purchased? And why did you pay that much for it? And also, what's your favourite cheap still book? And why do you still like it so much? The most... Ex I haven't gone eBay-wise. I haven't spent hundreds and hundreds on a still book. Or, or any blu-ray probably the most expensive blu-ray i've probably bought is gonna be a blue fans now that's quite cheap compared to a lot of people out there i mean i don't purchase the one clicks i mean they're nearly 200 dollars but i would say probably around the 70 dollar mark 60 dollar 70 dollar yeah something around that i've certainly not gone over 100 um and why did you pay that much for it? Well, that's only because it's the going price. And your favourite uh, cheap still book. What cheap still book have I got? Quite a few. Don't know actually. I mean, I don't know how you could uh, how you could define cheap because the prices are always dropping on Zavi anyway. I mean, it would probably some be something like the Alien vs Predator series. I mean, I think they dropped to about five quid. So, I mean, I like the gloss and the embossing on those, um, even though the films are a bit... Mm. But um, that's probably it. Uh, our next question comes from Jason Akita. What's the one steelbook you'd never get rid of? Sorry for repeating myself. Blue fans, Guardians of the Galaxy never leave in my collection next question is from Mona Songo how many copies did you buy maximum from the same same still book uh, well for me personally um, probably only one or two but for a group buy probably the biggest group buy I had um, I believe may have been Star Trek Into Darkness um, when it came out I think it's an entertainment store exclusive it was either that or it was the X-Men Days of Future Past um, which was an HMV exclusive and that I think they were close to about 80 or 90 copies I think actually X-Men actually went over 100 copies because I think the website had sold out and most stores sold out so I had to nip off to London and pick up the last couple of copies yeah I think it's probably X-Men Days of Future Past uh, next question is from The Pop Show have you heard anything for a Get Out still book release um, only recently I've, I've, I've heard some ramblings that I think there's an Italian one maybe on Amazon Ita Italy um probably need to look into that but I'm sure I read about it a couple of weeks ago uh, and the next one is from Brandon Harmon what are your top five still books um, Titanic the Indiana Jones complete collection the jumbo collection I know it's a jumbo but I love the design on it the back to the future Zevi art collection blue fans finding dory blue fans guardians of the galaxy in that order roughly uh, next question is actually from s gals ah oh, mm. right, two-part question do you own steel books for all of the lenticular magnets that you've designed no actually i have actually done lenticular magnets for steel books i haven't got 
but I thought would make really good magnets for people that have got them. So answers that, yeah. Uh, and who is the picture by your door? Should we go and have a look? It's Buffy the Vampire Slayer herself. Beautiful artwork. So I hope that answered the question. <laughs> I know you can only see uh, you can only see a little section up there, can't you? So even if I moved over that way, you'd only see a little bit. But I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Next question is from Skylar Olson. Uh, which is your favourite still book and which is your least favourite? Well, favourite as Guardians of the Galaxy, blue fans. Least favourite. The least favourite that I don't own. Sorry, Rogue One. I know, I have a hatred for this Rogue One still book artwork. I don't know what it is. I just don't do anything. I just don't get it. I just can't grab it so yeah next question is from six hole uh, have you ever bought a still book of a movie that you did not like just because of the artwork yes but I'm afraid I'm probably gonna get harassed for it unforgiven I love the artwork and I should like the film but I mean I've only seen it a few times I always found it a little bit boring I know I'm sorry but that's just my opinion maybe I need to have a couple of multiple viewings of it but it never really grabbed me uh, next question is from Sirius Brad do you have any future packs in your collection and what do you think about them? I don't have any future packs in my collection. Don't know much about future packs. Um, I don't know if they even make future packs anymore so I can't really answer that. Uh, next one comes from Citric Acid X. Do you think the release of Google's AI AIY voice kit that came with the most recent Magpie 57 will affect a Z, uh, will affect Alexa's market share? Um, yes or no? I don't know. Uh, next question is from Sloth Seven Sloth. When purchasing a steelbook. What do you do with the cardboard backing that comes attached to it? Do you toss them or keep them? If it's a flimsy one, just a bit of flimsy paper, I toss it. If it's a nice cardboard one, I keep it. Um, and I've got a nice box somewhere in the back there that's got them all packed in. Uh, in case I ever need them, you know, if I want to sell a steel book, then it's better to go with the J card. So that's what I do with those. Next question is from John Smith. Uh, this is a, a lenticular question how do you decide on the artwork one of the reasons I got into collecting is because it differed so much from the regular release artwork have you considered hosting a vote for artwork for specific titles I do do a good bit of research when it comes to the artwork um, for the lenticulars on what's gonna what's gonna work best with the transition sometimes the transition ends up a bit shit but it's just the way it goes um, I did think about having a vote on the artwork uh, leaving it with a choice of like three or four different versions of the artwork um, it didn't really take off I didn't have that many people's opinions you know they just thought oh they'll just leave it to me they liked the artwork I was putting out I suppose they trusted the artwork that I was putting out so just left it as it was uh, the next one is from Squish Panda what made you start making lenticulars uh, it only really comes down to one thing some of the steelbook artwork was shit so it had to be replaced
Hmm. Uh, next question is from Gabriel Villanueva. Villanueva, Villanueva? Sorry, if that's wrong. <laughs> Um, what's the best place to find older steel books? I always find eBay. eBay do a really good deal and you can get some older steel books really cheap. Uh, next question is from Ryan Eldridge. Do you have a favourite place to purchase steel books? Which steel book which steel book are you desperately searching for? Um favourite place to purchase steel books? I think HMV because they're all exclusives really and they come out with some great exclusives I wouldn't say Zavi because well Zavi do the mass market so if there's going to be a steelbook release Zavi release it but I think I think probably HMV uh, which steelbook are you desperately searching for as I said earlier on I'm still trying to get hold of a couple of copies of the accountant um for me as well so you never know i might find some in some charity shop <laughs> something like that uh the next one is from sir rolander or sir rolander uh would like to know why are you collecting steel books because i love them that's all it is metal wrapped metal um and because they're very collectible uh, next question is from Lewis Hellebron Watts. What was your first ever steel book you bought, and what is your favourite steel book, including premium packages that you own? Uh, well, first steel book, I think we probably thinking it down to what was it? Uh, I think it was Sweeney Todd, something like that. Uh, and the favourite, obviously, is going to be the Guardians of the Galaxy Blue fans. Uh, next question comes from James Landy. What is the best place to buy them, online or in store? I think it's got to be online. I mean, I don't know how it is in America. I know you've got Target, Best Buy, Walmart, and you get exclusives over there. But over here, uh, the only in-store steelbook really exclusive is an HMV. So I think probably online is going to be the best over here because you've got um, you've got Amazon where they only do a very few. Uh, but you've got HMV, Zavi, um, Zoom. So yeah, online over here. Uh, next question is from Ga uh, GavK87. What was the first Blu-ray steelbook you bought and were you addicted from that point onward? Uh, yeah, absolutely. And I think we established that was probably Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. Next question is from Tyler Parento. What's your least, what's your favourite steelbook artwork of all time? And that is Guardians of the Galaxy Blue Fans. When I saw that, it blew my mind. Next question is from The Blue Corner. Do you go and pick up all the steelbooks you get from the group buys? I used to. Um, the the stores, two of the stores, used to put them all aside, um, however many copies that I needed. Um, but now I've got a bit of a relationship with HMV, and I can just order them via the website. If they sell out, or if for some reason they have a stock problem, then I still have the stores. Uh, if yes, uh, have HMV ever said anything? To you about why you're doing it uh, well they know why I'm doing it so I make that clear to them when I actually get them um, and the last question is Andrew Leyland uh, would you buy a still book just because of the nice artwork even though it's a film you didn't like and vice versa in the old days yes now no so if you've got a new release as you can see from a couple of weeks ago, Rogue One didn't buy the steelbook, bought the Disney Red Slip, the 3D cover, because I thought that looked much better. But that's just me anyway. So um, I think that's it. So there's quite a few questions there. Um, sorry if I've bored you to tears. <laughs> uh, and I hope you find a little bit of that insightful and, and, and comedic. Uh, maybe I'll do another uh, QA in a couple of months time. 
but um, yeah that's it basically um, if you do have anything else that you want to ask um, then you can always put it down in the comments for uh, one of my other videos um, and I'll try and answer it for you um, um, as for the 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 uh, the giveaway the steelbook giveaway that's going to be in a couple of days so it'll probably be something like saturday or sunday and um, where we'll actually do the draw and i'll upload the video and then i'll package them still books up and then can you ship them on out wherever they're going um so yeah thanks for clicking on the video and um, i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up um if you haven't subscribed subscribe now um, and you can get all the notifications that you need uh, for me other videos that are coming soon um, and I'll see you on the next video in a couple of days bye who the fuck asked me that question